Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Avenger of the Fallen Deluxe Class Sideswipe. Uh, so first we'll take a quick look at his packaging, so I'll put him off to the side. So up front we got a nice picture of Sideswipe in his robot mode. Uh, you know, Studio Series 78, Sideswipe, we got Transformers Avenger of the Fallen. On this side you got another picture of, or that same picture of uh, Sideswipe. And you have the same picture of Sideswipe just closer up on his lovely lovely noggin uh you then obviously on the back have your obligatory product shots of him in his vehicle mode and in his robot mode looking pretty pretty good so but that's about it for the box uh for the backdrop for this box it is the the shanghai setting you kind of see it in the back there so pretty cool let's get that out the way so here is side swipe in his corvette mode or Corvette, yeah, Corvette mode, and um, I like it. I think it looks really nice. I love the fact, and I, I, like I said, absolutely love the fact that they did this all in silver. Very happy that they did that, like with uh, the Studio Series Jazz and the first run of this figure, which was the Dark of the Moon version, and getting it right off the way. No, I do not own that version. I never saw it in stores. Was never to gable. Was never to gable. Was never able to get my hands on it. Um, and I am refusing to pay upwards of three hundred dollars for a twenty dollar figure. So um, when I heard that this figure was being released, I was very, very, very excited, and I was able to find one at my local Walmart yesterday. So here he is. And like I said, I think he looks uh, looks fantastic in my opinion. Um, the, you got some translucent or transparent plastic up here for the, the windshield and the back windows, you know, as usual. Um, on the front here, you have the grill all done in a nice black. And, of course, you have the Corvette logo up here on the hood in a nice black and red detail. And on the back you have, I believe, I think this is the gas tank? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, because I don't really know Corvettes, but I'm pretty sure that's the gas tank. And you do have the exhaust here on the back with the taillights done in red. So, um, as far as from what I can tell, the differences between this figure and the Dark of the Moon version, it's literally just this added roof section. I believe everything else is the same as far as um, engineering and molding wise. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Again, I could be wrong. I don't own the original version, but from what it pictures and stuff that I've seen, I believe it's the same. So, um, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get four, actually, but for now, I'll just show off the two. You do get two of his uh, double-barreled uh, pistols, which are done in kind of a brown-ish plastic, but they do look really good, and I do like the way they look. I think they look very nice. Nice uh, molded detail in here. See down the barrel there. So and again, you get you do get two of them. And I'm not a hundred percent sure how to store these, but I'm I think what you're supposed to do is you store them on the inside where those if you can see where those slots are in there. I believe that's where you're supposed to store these. I know that's where they go in robot mode. But I don't know if that's where they go in car mode. I tried doing it and it didn't work, but I could have just been done doing it wrong. But again, I don't know. But um, as far as I know, other than that, there is no other way to uh, store them. So. But that is about it. So I suppose we'll get down to his uh, transformation. So uh, the first thing you want to do is come to the sides here and take off his swords. Yes, he parts forms like the other version. Personally, this doesn't bother me. I think it's an excellent form of weapon storage. Until you accidentally lose the swords and then he can't, you know, he doesn't look proper in vehicle mode, but don't, don't lose the swords. But yes, you just take the, the swords off and set these off to the side like so. You then want to, you can come to the, well actually let me raise up the camera just a little bit. You want to come to the front section here and split the sides like so, kind of get them untapped from the hood piece. And then you can raise the section up, bring it forward untab this and bring it and um another word of warning uh for some reason i don't know why they did this and i i really don't but they made they decided to do if you can tell from what it looks like they decided to do this entire hood section in clear plastic even though there is no reason to so but i would definitely be careful with uh this engine here because it is as you can see very uh Kind of wobbly 
So I would definitely be careful with this entire assembly. Not not a fan of how they did that. But um, you just take this section and bring it back like so. And you want to come back here and lift up this back section like so. Kind of bring these down and around it. Kind of get all of this out. Oh, you want to take these door sections here and bring them out. Kind of bring all of this up like so. And so you can get it out of the way. You then want to take his arms here and bring these, bring them down. And bring his arm down and bring him up at this hinge here. You then want to take this whole section and bring it down over his head and it will just tab into place like so. You then want to come down here to his legs and fold his legs down like so. You then want to split them, you know, in the middle. You then want to take the wheel section and you want to fold it in or sorry, you actually want to take this section and bring it back, bring this down, and then you can fold it in, bring this back up, and take this section here, fold it down to complete the look, and there you have a leg all done. So you just kind of do the same thing, kind of bring this all around, bring it down, and flip this section here, and bring it down to complete the look, and there you have his legs all done. Uh, now you want to come to this exhaust, the exhaust here, and just fold it in and again be careful with this that is called plastic and it is kind of a tight joint um you then want to kind of orientate his arms kind of bring them down bring them off to the sides so kind of get everything situated up front you then want to come in here and flip out his hands like so kind of come in here and flip out his hands like so you then want to come to this back section here and you're gonna to wanna to take the, um, the back windshield pieces and you wanna take them and bring them over the uh, hood of the car. So take this section and kinda of bring it, kinda of bring it up, gotta kinda of hinge it right, and then you'll just bring it over and collapse it down like so. Kinda of bring it all down. So you have something that looks like that. Yes, this piece kind of, you know, pokes through, but yeah, it's, it's a, again, it's a deluxe class. It doesn't really bother me, but, and then you can kind of do what you want with the door wings. Personally, I just kind of like to leave them down and off to the side like so, but I have seen people where they do bring them up like this, but personally, I don't really like how that looks. So I just like to bring them down and off to the side here, like so, and you can kind of get his arms and angle them up just a little bit more and these um rear sections here are on a ball joint in there so you can kind of um fiddle with these and kind of get them to how you how you like so and the door rings here are on a hinge here and a ball joint so but as far as robot mode goes that is about it so there is studio series revenge of the fallen if i can get them to stand sideswipe fully transformed and in his robot mode and i think he looks fantastic um definitely in my opinion looks better than the dark of the moon version simply because of the paint again i didn't know the dark of the moon version but just from seeing from pictures the dark of the moon version is done in a very drab kind of like a white grayish plastic from what i've seen and this just looks so much better we'll get in here on his head sculpt lovely head sculpt and again i think everything you know including the head sculpt looks a lot better the sculpt is the same i'm pretty sure it's just the way that they painted it makes it makes it look so much better in you know in my opinion but um you do have some nice blue in there for the eyes and then like a dark kind of gunmetal gray for the, all the facial details right in there for the focus there we go and again, you got the car detail, the tail lights back here, and nice silver and uh, gray detail in there. And you do have the Corvette logo right there, picked out in paint. Got more silver here on the arms. And then you got uh, a dark gray plastic for the thighs and kind of like a brownish plastic for, you know, his shins and the wheel pieces and whatnot. So, and going up the back, um, from what I've seen, the backpack is exactly the same, except obviously the you know they added a roof section and whatnot, but it is exactly the same from what I've seen. So looks 
very very nice in my opinion definitely a lot better than the dark of the moon version so um as far as articulation goes again these door hinges or these door panels are on hinges and on ball joints so you can kind of do what you want with them you know you can angle them up or keep them down like like i do uh the head is on a ball joint so you can do what you want the arms are also on a ball joint so they can go out it can go forward you kind of kind of um angle them um, around this piece but you can do it so they can go forward they can go back uh he does have a bicep swivel so that's very nice you know standard articulation i suppose uh, he does have an elbow bend about 90 degrees uh nothing at the wrist unfortunately um he does have a little bit of a waist swivel, so that is nice. Uh, the legs are in a ball joint, so they can go forward. Um, they can't really go back that far due to the backpack, unfortunately, but you can kind of get them out like that, I guess. But unfortunately, they don't go back that far. Um, he does have a thigh swivel. Uh, knees, he does have his two little kind of chicken-legged joints, so you can bend them back however you wish. And there is some... Very nice uh, piston detail in there. I do like all of that. But, you know, you can work with all the joints if you if you wish. And the feet don't really do anything. Uh, these pieces move, so you can kind of uh, move them for um, stability purposes. But, unfortunately, he doesn't have any uh, ankle pivot. So, because the joint moves out instead of, you know, move this way instead of in. But, you know, it is what it is. So I, he didn't really have ankles, so I mean I guess he did, but you know, he didn't really have feet. Um, so, let me get him situated here. Mine, for some reason, can be a bit of a pain to stand up, unfortunately, which really does suck, but there we go. He just kind of got to work with the hinges down there, but as far as his weapon goes, or weapons go, we do have his two blasters, which obviously he can just fit these into his hands like so. And you can have his two blasters, which looks very nice. I'm glad that they gave him his two blasters like they do with the Dark of the Moon version. So, thank you for that. But, of course, his main use of weapon weapons, you have his, his arm blades. So, you can just take these and plug them into... Actually, I like to plug them in the other way. I like to plug them in with the um, this molded detail here facing upwards. But you can take them, and they just plug into the slots right there in his hand and there's the uh tab right there so they just plug in to the side of his hands like so and i believe this is exactly the same like the dark of the moon version but they just plug in like so and i think that looks bad ass and you can kind of get him in a um i guess kind of in like that one pose that he did i don't really see if i can do it here but get his leg back you can kind of get him in this ball if the sword didn't pop out i'm gonna get him in the pose I'm, I'm gonna prove my point maybe 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 eh, eh, eh. yeah there we go so you see so you can kind of get him in his in his one pose if you uh wanted to i mean obviously you can work and fiddle with his joints as you know, as you wish, but get them all situated here so I can finish this up. But as far as um, side swipe goes as a figure, I really do like him. I think he looks great in robot mode. I think he looks fantastic in his vehicle mode. Um, and I guess overall, I am really happy to finally have a side or um, a um, movie side swipe because again, I wasn't going to pay up to up, upwards of $300 for a deluxe figure. Screw that. I would rather not do that. But, um, I mean, obviously. But uh, if, if you can find one, I would definitely get one. Especially if you couldn't get the Dark of the Moon one. But also, in my personal opinion, even if you have the Dark of the Moon one, I would still say get this figure just because of the added paint detail. Because it really does make him look very nice. Um, I think he does look a lot better than the Dark of the Moon version. But, um... As far as the review goes, that's going to be about it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching and have a good one.